Yo, testing one, testing one, two, testing one, two, testing everything. All right, so in this instance, test. Well, why would a mic from the other room do anything? I don't understand why a mic from the other room would do anything, right? Because those, I mean, we're not streaming from these computers. Hey, are we streaming from this computer? I don't understand. Hey, what? Hey, 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 hey. What? I'm gonna go. What? I've muted everything in the other room now. <laughs> it was the other room. How? That doesn't make any sense. This, but, but look. Look, bruh. It's plugged in one mic into this soundboard, one headphone into that soundboard, and the USB goes into that computer. What, what would that other computer and all of its sound has to do? What does that shit have to do? What will it? God wills it. All right, whatever. We're gonna concentrate on setting up for our awesome board game streams. So I'm very excited about. So, so we're gonna plug this in. Blood damn. Okay. So this is a power cable extension. Now normally oh. Now normally that normally these two cables here are gonna run up run up the pole. You know? But in this instance, they're just going to run right here under the table so we can supply that camera with power. We should have power. And let's do this. We have liftoff. Power. Three cameras up. Moving to the fourth cam. I've got so many fucking cables and shit. I don't know what is what. Okay. Fourth cam will be this guy. Problem with this guy was that the onboard HDMI cable is not working. And now 
not only is the onboard HDMI cable not working, but now the onboard power is not working either. Shit, I needed to buy a power extension. That's right. Okay. So we know both of those are not working properly. If we give battery to this, but then we use this, we should be able to get power. Okay, hang on. Okay, now, if I take the Angry Joe Show streaming camera's dummy battery and I install it over here temporarily just to test if we can have permanent DC power here, we would take this then we would extend it with this. Bam. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, because this onboard power cable doesn't work, we would want to run this line in here and through here which I'm not even sure is possible because there's thicker parts of the line like like this part. Um, you know? So we could just run the cable on the outside and just freaking tape it, right? I'm gonna ask ghetto. That's ghetto as hell. But it does get the job done. Okay. So now this should be supplied power. Let's check. We are have lift off. All right, well, we have power, but no signal, right? And that is the final component. We have power, but we have no signal. The final component is to replace this that runs in here. And we have, that was the first thing that I showed you when we started the stream. So now we're back to square one. Now. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna lose it. I'm at my wit's end. This, this is the last hope. This is our last best hope for humanity. This cable better work. Now, obviously I'm not gonna run it through the line. I'm gonna let the electrician do that but we are gonna test fit it right now from here to my computer. Now, the key here that allows this to work 
is because over here, none of the adapters would go from HDMI to HDMI micro. They would go, but the com but this thing would not read it. Why did this turn off? Okay, power's on. For example, like I'll plug it in. Okay. Uh Why? Because I'm because of power? So you may you tell me you made me buy an $80 cable and cuz I if you do this on battery power, no, this is not going to work. Okay, let's This adapter I don't like. I want I want to use this. It's not reliable. Why would it work now, though? You know what? It's always good to have a backup plan because I do I do see it flickering sometimes, the unsupported signal. I don't know. What? Let's put it through its paces then. All right, you know what? It's good to have a backup plan. Let's let's see if it'll still work. So, what is supposed to allow this one to work over this one was the fact that it can do this. Here's your HDMI to HDMI, but you're saying, Joe, I thought it was HDMI to HDMI micro, and you would be right. So all you would need to do is detach one side and all of a sudden you have an HDMI to an HDMI micro see how that works wow this is metal that's heavy I don't know why they would make that metal so now what we'll do is let's see if it'll work shall we just in case in the future this adapter says no mas and poops out on us. Right? You don't want that happening. So, I'm going to go under the table here. I'm going to yank out that cable. And I'm going to put in this cable. 
And I'm gonna slowly back out of the table and I'm slowly routing this cable here just long enough so that we can now plug it in to here. Come on. Excuse me. But this is this is the eighty dollar cable. Is this not an HDMI micro? What the fuck? Okay, okay. New backup plan. We're gonna backup plan the backup plan. We're gonna slip this back on. And then, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna adapt it to HDMI. Cause this does say HDMI display. I don't know if HDMI display is different from HDMI and HDMI micro and HDMI mini. Okay, here we go. We're gonna back, we're gonna adapt the adapter and go. But it should have worked. It's the exact same connection. This stuff is just immensely frustrating. You buy the right things. Okay. Here's what, uh, let's, well, it looks like we have no backup plan. Instead, we'll go with the original plan. <sighs> it's ridiculous. $80 cable. I'll definitely return that. <sighs> Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. And now I'm getting no signal on that cable. Maybe it's just because the camera turned off and I didn't notice that the camera turned off. Right? I'm, am I right? We're not, we're not going through all the steps. Let's go through all the steps. We plug it in. We turn the camera on. No. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, are we plugged in down here? No, we're not plugged in. Wait a minute. We're plugged in.
Everything is plugged in. We're on. We're plugged in. And we're not working. Backup plan. Original plan. We're plugged in. We're not on we're not plugged in down here. We're plugging in down here. We're plugged in down here. Okay. So the eighty dollar cable does not work. Great. Uh, so as long as this cable works embedded, I have no problem with that. In fact, that's what I want. I don't want to have to rerun lines through everything. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm happy that it's working, but you know as well as I that you saw it flicker. You saw it go to unsupported. And if that happens again, we're shit out of luck. And it will not turn on. It ain't gonna turn on, my friend. So, <sighs> that's just fucking wild, dude. How much money and cables and shit I'm spending and time and effort. It's like ridiculous, dude. Why can't things be simple? But look, we got all four setups. We got our setup. So here is one thing that I'm, I'm scared to do, but I want to do it with your witness. Witness me. What is this? What the fuck? Hold on. Maybe I knocked one of these other cables out. I think I just knocked one of these other HDMI cables out, right? Yeah, okay. All right. So witness me, chat. Do you see this cable here? See that? This is supposed to be the power cable for this. Yeah? Okay. So, I will now turn off the macro. Keep it safe. I'm gonna unplug the macro. So the macro is using this, an extension cable, to get it across the carpet. We don't want it across the carpet. We want everything embedded in this pole arm. So you see how I'm going to just plug it into here? That should be fine because look, these are the same size. Wait, are they? Oh no. No, they look different. It still plugs in. It plugs in, but... Hmm. Well, the voltage should not be a concern because the this is just a cable where the current is going to be uh, traveling. The voltage is the same. The voltage is what we're actually using the AC adapter that the ca camera came with. We're just extending it via this, okay? I know, I know. Don't fry another cam, I know. Trust me, nobody knows more than me, right? Because that's a lot of money, right? But you're gonna travel with me. You're gonna watch this whole process. Check it out. Here's the AC adapter. It is a 
7.8 voltage. This is what came with the camera. That's what was just working on the camera. Now all I'm doing is I'm taking that cable and I'm extending it with that cable. But let's instead take the cable, put it over here, because this, this is the cable from the wall. So if we plug this in, it doesn't go, okay? So then that's why I have this adapter here. I have an adapter. And this adapter does look like what it needs to look like, right? Well, let's double check. the adapter but will the current travel will the current travel through this gray wire we're adapting it and we're plugging it in It's now plugged in. It's plugged in. Now we will turn it on. Three, two, please work. One. Negative, we have negative power. Negative power engagement. The current cannot travel through this. This will need to be replaced. It doesn't look like the same power cable. The adapter just cannot do its job. It's pretty standard, I don't know why. So, we plug this in though, turn it on, works just fine. With a supported signal, that's the most important part, is we do have a supported signal. Okay. All right, so we'll just take this cable We'll replace this old cable. We'll wire it through there. All four cameras are now on. And we're good to go. Let's move some shit out of the way. See what we're working with. I've got a box on opening to do. Would you like to do a box opening? We've got Joe's Necron army. Part of it has arrived. All right. And let's 
Do it. Now, we got to get proficient with this camera. We got to start learning it, right? So, um, we've got, is, we want to zoom out. That's, it's not zooming this out. Focal length. What does this button? What just happened? Right. We're trying to figure out Is there a way to zoom out with this macro lens? No, it's just 90. 90 millimeters. It's not adjustable. You can adjust the the full uh, the uh, the F number. What's the F number? like Shit, we've got a problem. We need to figure out how to zoom out with our macro lens. Because it can't be this close all the time, or is it not possible to? It, if that's the case, then this camera can't have the macro lens because I can't adjust. can't get shit in the shot that I would need to get sometimes. It's a prime lens. Asher, explain the prime lens thing to me. You mean it doesn't have different variations of millimeters that, that we can we can change between. Right? Like say for example, it's a fixed focal length. Yeah, okay. For example, fuck. It's not, that's not good for our purposes. For example, this is
a 16 to 50. So in order to get the 16 to 50, you've got a zoom. It's got a zoom on it. Fuck. So we'll turn it off. And then if we were to take it off and put on this lens and turn the camera on. Boom. That is, uh, that's a problem. That's a problem I didn't realize we had. This camera has, this, this camera is just fine. Maybe I in fact don't need a macro lens. I mean, that macro lens is a fucking amazing um, for macro photography, for sure. Maybe in s very small instances, I could use this. But this here, I don't think this has an autofocus built into the lens. I could get an upgraded lens that maybe goes smaller than s than 50 but not quite and and has variable zoom but not quite 90 this goes to 90 millimeters what you're looking at is 16 millimeters to 55 millimeters the smaller you go the wider it is this lens is is definitely hot but not useful in a small room like that well small room doesn't matter if you're doing macro photography you're just you're just looking to to do some close-up shots so you could have a studio apartment you could still use a macro lens all right what what we'll do we'll figure it out we'll figure it out but for right now let's let's focus right we're gonna focus maybe i didn't need a fancy lens like that i can return that lens get some better lenses split the cost like put a dslr up here and get a wide angle lens for the dslr so that it can get the board. Uh, I'm just afraid that it'll get the the pole and I don't want it to get the pole. But you guys have waited long enough so now it's time for the fun stuff, yes? Let's do the fun stuff. Let me get something to drink. What's up? Are we focused? What are we, what are we doing? Should be on uh, autofocus, right? Is it good? All right, here we go. Wow. This is just taped to kingdom come. Plastiform. Plastiform. What the fuck? Hmm. It 
was just a box filled with plastic form. This is too light to be anything. Here we go. Wow, I've never seen anything packed so so well. Is it focused? Okay. Of course, the music's not playing. So it's on manual focus now, right? So you're not going to see it until I pull it close. This is definitely packed with care with somebody who is definitely a modeler. How do I get this game with a motherfucking autofocus? See, now we have a problem. <laughs> well, 50 is 50 and 75 is great for for anything. For for normal shots. It's it's not good for close-up shots. Now, let's do a close-up shot. Can't handle. I'm gonna go to manual focus. Oh, fuck. It's too, it's too much. Focal range is, it's too narrow, it's too narrow. All right. Let's go light.
I'd say it's I'd say it's average maybe uh, no not average I guess I'd say well painted I was just hoping to be maybe impressed a little more Wow, oh, that is macro photography for you. <laughs> the lens would never be able to get something that close. <sighs> the other, that other lens. Oh! Did you see that? What's going on? We lost power. What's going on? I can't get it back. Yeah, better. Good. It's only two of those guys, though. Not sure, I can make an army yet. Bro, auto focus, man. That's better. I don't like the one eye Necron stuff, but this ain't my army. I like the skull Necron stuff, but I guess it gives them a little bit of good variation to have a few one eyes Cyclopses in the Necron army. They started doing that with the new sculpts. What do you guys think of that? done that is not a lot <sighs> that is I, th I expected a, mu a much larger army unfortunately we've got 
more forces to buy for other Joe if that's it we've got one more box here it's a long box so I'm hoping this is infantry but even if it's nothing but infantry we we don't really have enough to put together a whole army I did buy two I'd rather it be overpacked like this than underpacked so I don't I disagree that there's too much foam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight. I'm not really sure what what Necron army unit uses just eight. That's a problem. I don't think that. I think these are heavies or specialists. The weapons are kind of bad. Oh, we've got our first broken. We got our first broken model. I can't find the broken hand. All that extra packing and really didn't matter. Can't I have to take that to the doctor? What the fuck? No. No, we're in trouble. We're we're in big trouble. We don't have a backup plan. The backup plan doesn't fucking work. You gotta be shitting me. What happened? I, I don't understand. I just don't get it. This shouldn't be happening t to us. I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I need I need a good backup plan. And the good backup plan was that that extension cable. I wonder if I could get just a normal US if I could just get normal HDMI extension cable. A normal HDMI extension cable. Let's try the other lens. This this is just the kit lens that it comes with. We can zoom in. And that's about the zoom we're gonna get. Unless we say. That's as close as we get. So. What do you think? 
thousand dollar lens the other one or the kit lens that it comes with for free it's a thousand dollar is it worth a thousand to to get that much i mean how's the quality on that I mean, see, with this lens, I can we can actually see multiple things. So I think I need to find a lens that's between 50 and, and, and 90. So, like, say, you know, what is there lenses between that? Like, say 50 and 90? Let me, let me get, like, a, a 70 millimeter. Do they have a 70? Yeah. Uh, or no. Whoa, a twenty oh, a twenty four through seventy is two thousand one hundred and ninety eight. But but that's what I need. Asher, you're my man, dude. Do do I buy this lens? What the fuck? No, that's it. That's all she had. She was willing to give me about what? An hour? We're going to pull this off. We're going to put the red adapter on. The red adapter gets nothing. I've got I've got two of these other I've got two of these adapters. Let's try the second one. It's not it. It's just this fucking cable, man. It's not a reliable signal, and that is the problem. This A6400. It's one of the better ones out there for this kind of stuff, but uh. What's what's what I believe is the problem and we've said this before is this cable because if we for example let's let's mess around with it. What so why is it not doing it now, huh? You fucking tell me this. It's going to mug me off now. Huh? Yep. So, uh, what's my, who's my camera guy? R, R, Raz, some. That 27 to 70 is what I need, yeah? What else? You got a 60? Maybe a 60 will do. Well, this is a, what, 50? Asher, yeah. Shitty adapter puzzle. That's what I'm thinking. No, no, actually it's not. Because I bought I bought this adapter. I bought this adapter. I bought an adapter before that. Three different adapters? No. No. Okay, so there here, check this one out. There is a 28 
There's a 28 to 60. That's only going to cost us $500. So we got our choice between $500. This one goes to 50. We need we need to go bigger. We go to 60, $500. That seems a little better than going $2,200. What do you think? Well, hold on. Now I'm confused. This one for two hundred dollars more than the camera, or for three hundred dollars more than the lens I bought. This one does twenty-four to one hundred five. One hundred five is even more than this guy does. This uh, this guy just does a straight up. This does it just a straight up 90. All right. Yeah. Fifteen to one on five six forty eight. Where'd you see that one? Is it a Sony? Where's that one? What? What is going on? Nah, man. Nah, we can't. We can't with this. We can't with this. check this out we're gonna go back to a hard line connect we're gonna go back to the the, the short connection So, we have this short connection. It's very short. Probably three feet, two, two feet, no, three, yeah, three feet. And it is an HDMI to an HDMI micro, macro, micro, HDMI to HDMI micro. I, I should, I, I think that's what I should go with, but I gotta buy it on Amazon. So when I return this one and I get store credit, I can I can use that credit to to buy that one. Wait. How did I ever get this to reach? This won't reach. How did I get this to reach?
Nah, I found it for 649, my man. Ah. No. If I could find an HDMI extension cable, which I don't know if I have. Let me let me look for a, an extension cable. Okay, we don't have an extension cable. But you know what I just realized? Why do you need an extension cable? Pull the camera off the paw, the arm. Plug it in close. There's no, there's no, there's no unsupported format. I can, I can whip it around, I can move it around. And so far, it's not a problem. So what if I get an extension cable? So, and, and, and this cable has never been a problem. So that's why I thought, okay, well, instead of using adapters, I'll just go ahead and I'll use, <sighs> instead of using adapters, I'll just go ahead and use the cable itself. <laughs> right? And honestly, it works. It fucking works. And that is not gonna give me unsupported signal. The, the fucking problem is the fucking unsupported fucking signal. I know, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. 
we will not use a DSLR. We will not use the DSLR that requires the HDMI Mac Micro. No! Bad chat! Bad! No! No! <laughs> okay. Careful, careful, careful. Instead, we will use a camcorder with HDMI Mini. Which will allow us Power the camera. It, this camera looks like it has great quality, right? I wonder if we can get this similar quality out of the camera that we have over there. Let's try. Power on. Adapter. Adapting. Fuck. Signal! Give me signal!
We have signal. We did it. There doesn't appear to be any. There doesn't appear to be any unsupported signal. Look at me. How is this quality compared to before? Let's do it on miniatures. So this camera's optical zoom, it's not the best. It can handle, it can handle about that. And I don't think we would ever actually go any closer to than that. think we actually get anything by going and grabbing that thousand dollar lens now sure it has problems focusing up close maybe I can hit it if I really want things that close maybe I can hit it with a manual focus my manual focus where's my manual focus I don't s oh, I think it's this wheel Guys, that's enough. I, th I think that's enough. For our purposes. Okay, here's the dish. Here's the issue. I've tricked you. This is the Angry Joe Show camera. This is a Canon XA20, I, which I believe is $2,000. <laughs> so, and I'm not gonna, you know, keep it as a dedicated board game camera because I need this to film. The XA20s retail for Ah, 1,000, 1,200 used. Okay. I can, I can get a used one, about 1,600. All right. All right, maybe. Now, 
Does that mean that I have to return the, this DSLR? Or is the fact that the DSR, DSLR length, it's just unacceptable, right? So here's how we're going to determine that. Where can we use the DSLR? Well, well, we have this camera, yeah? How do I get to that other camera? That is the me cam. This cam? That's not the me cam. AJ and Chris Cam. Okay, so we have this camera. Can we improve the quality of this camera? As you can see, it's grainy. Do you see the grain? And then what happens if I get up close like this? This is a $200 camera. $200 camera. 1080, 1080 resolution. We can replace these two with DSLRs. Uh, Full. The setup is not complete, as you can see, motherfucker. You are the fool. So we are going to try to see if we turn this camera off, if we can get any benefit Actually, let's use Okay. Mm, 
Third slot. Third slot. I saw unsupported signal for half a second, did you? Now, is this camp? In terms of low light performance. I don't see any grain at all. Plus it has that nice depth of field effect. You don't get that depth of field effect in a camcorder. So if I replace both of these cameras, it would be, it's, it's much better to go with a DSLR than these $200 camcorders, I think. Way better. I wish I could get it up as high as the other one, but this cable is not long enough to do it. Asher, what are you talking about the sensor? Guys, you are the fool. I'm not the fool. I don't know if you know this, but we are setting things up. So shut your mouth. The only one I want talking is Asher. Stay within 15 feet cable length. You know what's interesting? All right, here's what we're going to do. The audio's out of sync. You guys are funny. Let's use this 50 foot cable again. And we're gonna see if for some reason it works now all of a sudden. Weirder things have happened, yes? Uh. Oh, my fingers. Fuck. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Plugging it in now. Plugged in. <sighs> yeah. 50 foot cable does not work. Okay, so we know we'll just return this cable. Enough said about that. I don't want to hear anything else. You want, except you telling me that my audio is delayed. You want to tell me some more? You want some more? You... You want some more?
Is the quality. So is the quality that different? We have determined that the quality is that different now? Is it different? This is the $200 camera. Considerable difference, meaning the XLR is better. Shut your fucking mouth about the audio delay! All right, I'll take care of it. Testing, testing, testing. Well, the lighting looks bad because I'm right in front of a fucking light. It did, I mean, that, I'm just trying to see. It. It's still good. I don't know, man. I'm just So, uh, shouldn't be an audio delay by a month, guys. Oh, there is an audio delay. <laughs> How about now? Are we still delayed? Are you happy? Are we good? That's really bad. And that's the light. No, there's it's no delay. All right, well. So. Godfoot is sending us a camera. It's not exactly. XA20 quality, but it should replace this camera. And now I'll need to buy a new kit. What? Did that just go off?
Well, I think I determined that I bought the wrong lens. And, uh... We need to build our... Our, uh... We need to build our Space Marine army, our angry army. Yeah, it works. We'll just we just got to get a different camera besides the DSLR. The DSLR can't be up here because the fucking DR oh, just lost power. That's okay. We need to rewire this this damn thing. Fuck, man. What a damn headache, boy. The wiring is on. Camera's on. Oh, shit. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to do one overhead cam, one action cam, and two perspectives cams. Player one cam, player two cam. Player one cam, player two cam. These are the most reliable. They don't, they don't have issues. They never have issues. It's just getting the clo overhead cam and the close-up cam uh, routed correctly with the correct power and the correct HDMI. It sounds simple, but for some reason, these adapters that I'm using and this cable that came with the, ca the HDMI cable that came embedded in the pole arm seems to be a bottleneck of some sort. Perhaps this HDMI cable embedded in the camera arm is of an older format and it is having trouble with adapters. What do you think? I, I'm thinking that's the issue. I'm really thinking that's the issue. Now, here, we can test this hypothesis. Do you know, do you remember when I said we're done with that ca that cable? We're done. I lied. Because I would actually like 
to test if it will work with my XA20. If I can find this old adapter that I... What? I kept over here. And now... So many adapters to keep track of. Tell you what we're gonna do, Chad. We're gonna set up the table, but and we're gonna build the army. But here's what we're gonna do first. I need to test this hypothesis out. I need to find this adapter. What am I doing? It's right in front of me. It's right here. These two. But I was looking for the short one. There was a short one, but this does this same thing. No, it doesn't. I'm looking for the mini. Never mind. I need a mini. Because we're going to the camcorders. The camcorders use the mini. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I purchased two big, long fucking cables. Alright, 
So, what was the hypothesis I was testing? <laughs> What was I so curious about? Now I can't even remember. We're not, we're not having, were we having issues with this cable or not? Something about it, you're testing it for short HDMI cable work. That or the camera can't push the signal that far. It's an insane distance. Cable length, not bad cable. Right, I was testing to see if it was cable length and not a bad cable. But wait, I can't, I can't do that. Cause we already know that it's, it's not a bad cable. It's, it works right here. Wait, did it just go off? Okay, uh, I think maybe I was just trying to improve the experience and say, you know what? Why am I using an adapter at all? Why not use a cable that is embedded, right? It's already HDMI to HDMI mini. That's, that's my hypothesis, I think, that I was trying to test. Stop using this, this crappy ass uh, adapter onto an HDMI to HDMI and use this embedded mini to HDMI with no adapter whatsoever. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Let us test this hypothesis. It's, it's not necessarily the adapter, it's the adapter combined with this suspect older HDMI cable from a, a camera arm that I have no idea whether it works or exists or if it's some older format. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're no longer using this old HDMI that's inside the cable arm combined with this thing. It might be for older fucking, I don't know, hospital monitors and shit, right? This is a brand new HDMI to HDMI mini that I am using And when I move this around, to me, this seems more stable. Like, wasn't it before coming on and off? Or, you know, no! I saw it! Oh my god. <laughs> it's like even more unstable. <laughs> I wasn't even touching anything on that. Huh. Wow. I were I was slapping it. Obviously, you know, any cable is gonna have an issue if you're gonna be s slapping it. You're gonna, you're gonna slap it? You wanna slap it? Oh, I know what I was also doing. I was also testing another hypothesis that 
remember, I was talking specifically about a 50-foot HDMI cable. I want to know once and for all whether that 50-foot HDMI cable will work or whether it's the DSLR that is the point of contention. Now, how am I going to do that when this HDMI cable is actually an HDMI to HDMI micro? Well, Well, I plan to convert an HDMI micro into an HDMI and then an H. I plan to convert an HDMI micro into an HDMI, which then converts into, which then goes to an HDMI micro out to an HDMI and then I will convert that HDMI into an HDMI mini. Do you see what I'm doing? Hmm? <laughs> I'm going to convert this HDMI mini into an HDMI and I'm gonna and this is the same on the other end so the other end is an HDMI into an HDMI mini running the cable into this HDMI mini into this HDMI and then I'm gonna run this HDMI into this HDMI and it's just gonna turn it into an HDMI mi ma mini no I want a ma I want a macro I want a mini where I need a da ha then I will convert this HDMI I will take this HDMI micro which is on the other end and I converted it into an HDMI and then I plugged it into the computer and then on this end I took this HDMI Min micro and I attached it to an HDMI and then I attach I'm going to attach this HDMI and attach it to this HDMI giving me an HDMI micro and giving me an HDMI mini now I'm going to plug this in and see if this 50 foot HDMI monstrosity cable will work We are plugged in. We are turning on the camera. Camera on. No signal. So in that case, quite simply, this cable, this 50 foot HDMI cable is just not working. It won't work. I think that this cable is a specialist cable. It's like for some kind of fucking projector. Okay? So, now, my hypothesis has been confirmed. We can finally put this 50 foot cable to rest. No more tests, no more talking, it is done, going into its box. It says, DTEC fiber optic HDMI cable user manual. Ideal solution with copper HDMI cable cannot transfer 4K at 60 frames for long distance. It's for when it can't, well, this one can't. 
fiber optic. I thought that's different. <sighs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And now, my friends, we are one camera short. But perhaps all is not lost. For I have one final $200 backup, backup, Back up, back up. And in this instance, I will attach this backup, backup of a backup. the overhead camera. Do we have power? Power negative. We do not. <clears throat> we would need additional pylons. Does this power bank work? Let us Second battery on. On f we have power. We have negative power and powered off. I should have charged these two batteries. <clears throat> Instead, we will have to wait on the overhead camera because unfortunately I don't have a third charger for my cameras uh, I don't know where the third charger went for the backup 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 I believe I misplaced it or lost it. So I oh, fuck. <laughs> I have so much and yet so little. What? What closed on its own? <clears throat> okay, perhaps. Perhaps it's downstairs. Perhaps. It's at the old place. This is something I will have to research. But for now, 
let us move our new Necrons to the shelf. We'll clear the board. Okay. We may want to consider returning this camera, this lens rather. I will put it in its box. And it is now time to clear the table.
How does that look? How does that look? Okay. I wish we had the overhead cam. The graphics are blurry. It looks blurry. Very hard for it not to look blurry. Alright, I'm gonna try to local record to my hard drive to see if I could do that at the same time I'll stream it. Okay, we are local recording. Are we dropping frame? Here is some Space Marines versus some Necrons. Cool, cool. Looks good, right? All right. Oh, fuck. Are we dropping frames? The drops are happening. We'll move it around. I guess I can't record uh, this high quality footage at the same time that I stream it. That is unfortunate. Okay, I've stopped recording. Has that improved things? One hundred fold. Okay. Shit. So I can't record to hard drive at the same time that I stream. It's either record to hard drive or stream. That's a major limitation. I was hoping to do both. Just a never ending set of problems. I could pull it from stream after you. I just worry about the quality from a source like that. So, this would be an example of a setup. All right? We'd have one player over there. And you'd have one player over there now I already notice one problem one thing that I don't like that's the fucking camera arm This player is going to be like blocked by this fucking thing. So it's like, yeah, let me uh, roll my dice.
So I know what I can do. Here's what's not going to affect the stream. And that is if I record to my camera. If I have four chips, four SD cards, and all four cameras are recording to ASD. And I am kind of right, it's in the way. Damn. Well, then we'll just have to make sure that the camera is always at an angle where it's not going to be an issue. It's getting a little bit of shadow on the models, but we don't have all of the lights set up. There's just a light there, a light there. There's a one missing light and maybe a missing light behind that camera. So, as long as we keep that camera arm on one side only, it'll work. You know? Alternatively, alternatively, we don't use this camera at all. Instead, instead. The whole fucking thing. Instead, I don't think we can do battle reports live in the way that we want. They wouldn't be very good to consume later on on YouTube. They either need to be highly edited and, and just made without anybody watching with fewer camera angles Do not turn on the gimbal without an action cam mounted on. 
Tilt the motor to the left side. Place the action camera close to the back. Cl clip as picture to tighten the knob to secure its position. Double tighten by two long screws against violent m m movement. Let me turn this off. Off. Turn it off. Why is it rumbling? Stop it. I don't want you on. It's trying to fucking. Stop! It won't fucking turn off! How do you mount this fucking thing? Okay. Joe, what if you have a top-down camera where you can see the whole thing? Okay. Stop mounting the action cam. Go Steady Pro 3 is able to connect to GoPro Hero 87654. Turn on the gimbal. Television. Turn on the Wi Fi control. Wi Fi indicator flashes to wait the gimbal to connect to GoPro. No, it didn't. Fuck. No SD card. Tell me I mounted this thing without an SD card.
Alright. Okay, we're back. We have 90% battery. All right. Installing it backwards. Okay. Power on the gimbal. Turn on the Wi-Fi control. Turn on the GoPro and enter the connect. Click smart remote for connection. Connect. Where's connect? That's media. Enables advanced video, video stabilization, stabilizes your video, auto low light, manual audio control, pro tune. No. I don't know what, how to enable connect on. Uh. How to enable connect on uh, GoPro. Press mode button to power on your camera. Open the utility drawer by swiping from the top to the bottom of the connect of the touch display. Stop. Get out of here. Swipe from top to bottom. There we go. Then select connect. Go, go pro, connect new device. Do I 
do Bluetooth device? Connect the GoPro app to compare compatible Bluetooth devices to your camera. Wireless connections. Voice control off, voice control on. Preferences, camera tour, time, date, format. Click smart remote. Connect new device. Smart remote. Come on. Come on. Put smart remote in pairing mode. I did. Connected! Smart remote connected. Turn off Wi-Fi control when you do not want to connect GoPro. Operation instructions. Up, down, left, right. Lock, pan and tilt, lock, all lock, slider, roll access, adjustable, trigger button, press on for sport mode, double tap to recenter, Bluetooth light, mode button, single tap, take photo, double tap, switch between photo mode and video mode. <laughs> Voice control is on, god damn it. Video, GoPro video. Wow, that's crazy. I had to turn voice control off. It actually worked. Voice control off. Okay. So, as I was saying, maybe I don't need all that other stuff. This camera is very easy to control. This GoPro, maybe I can just use a GoPro and a GoPro only, right? Sure, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to hit record. We are recording. I'm using the GoPro audio. Okay, I'm going to fire one, two, three, four, five, five Marines at dice, five Necrons. So I need five dice. Obviously, this is not how this works, but I don't like rolling in my... God damn it. So I'll roll in my right hand, since I'm right-handed. <laughs> Gotta control my rolls more. And I rolled uh, three, four, five, five, six. That's a damn good roll. Uh, so all these hit. And all these wound, two wounds. And the Necron player would roll to see if he deflects these wounds. He deflected one of them or absorbed or saved one of them. One Necron is dead. The Necron returned fire with only four models. I don't know how people control their rolls. <laughs> Whoa, every single one misses. But let's say they re-roll ones because their commander is in range. And we've got a six and a three. So one hit, one wound. The Marine player saves, the Marine player saves. No wounds. Okay, now uh, we go into close combat. The Marine player is going to place his miniatures in close combat. And now roll a whole fuck ton of dice. Four hits. So this is what it's like with a GoPro. And if I were just recording for YouTube only. So I also have a wide angle lens that I could place on the camera itself or a macro lens. 
And supposedly that macro lens is supposed to work a little better if I'm showing things up close. And we'll see. There I have uh, four hits. And that's three wounds. And only one of them is saved. Two more models. Let's just say that I was actually rolling for the Necrons and the Marines are down. Pile in. Marines fight back. They're going to go two dice each. One, two, four, six. And uh, it's two sixes. The rest are failures. One hit. Necron saves. The Necron saved with a six. Uh, all right. Then I would stop the recording. See, and I'll see exactly and then compare between uh, focus on that versus that. That versus that. It does make things a little bigger, but it's not enough. I don't think that this is actually going to work very well. That's the GoPro. The lens makes such a small difference. I don't, I don't, I don't like that lens. Honestly, I'm, I'm not sure it's really doing much. Now that was the GoPro, right? I already owned the GoPro. I think the GoPro when I bought it was something like three hundred, four hundred dollars, maybe five hundred. Then I bought this gimbal, which was only eighty bucks. So this is like something like five hundred. Now this is the more expensive system. This is the fucking Ronin, and the Ronin is, would be for example, this DSLR that we were not able to get working. And since we're not able to really get this DSLR working, I think that instead of wasting it, it would be ideal to use it over the GoPro as I do not think the GoPro works very well, bro. I don't. I don't think it does. And now that we have this big fucking lens, we're going to need to use some attachments that we haven't used before. I'm going to need help. There's supposed to be a little thing. This thing that sort of helps. Oh, 
when there is kind of a a big heavy lens. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up the riser plate. Yeah, I got the spacer plate on there. Use a screw. Thread the screw into the body. Tighten it up. And make sure it's pretty straight. Is that, the lens is this the, the piece that yeah, I need? You want to put both screws through the bottom of the main plate, which means you have to thread them through. Yeah. So they both drop in. So and then when you place the camera, the plate. And then we right tighten through. that. That's just for extra support. Alright. So let's actually use this camera with the macro lens for testing purposes and to see how it looks. The big ass beast macro. And that's why you then need this. Just for added support. Guess that's how it's supposed to be. All right, let's, let's turn off the GoPro. No, I want I want you to turn off. Keep think it keeps thinking I want it to I don't, I want to record I don't want to record anymore please go away 
You have to pull the GoPro out of the gimbal. Then the gimbal, I think, is off. Okay, and now this will need to be rebalanced. And this shit is fucking hard. To balance. But once you get it... back I'm not sure it can handle this weight honestly so all of this may have been for nothing Too heavy. Let's turn on the gimbal. Maybe, maybe it, with it powered, it can help us. Yeah. I don't think that's going to work. This camera's pretty heavy with this on here. Damn. Well. Let's take this bad boy off. And I'll put the original lens that it came with back on. Let's at least get it some shots. Get it to balance somewhat. hardest part of this Ronin gimbal is getting that shit fucking balanced the first time.
I think the uh I don't think it has power. Fuck. Okay. What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? All right, so we got no music. So we don't need a gimbal. A gimbal is just something to help stabilize the shots when you really want smooth shots and action. Right now, we're just testing, brah. Brah. We're just testing. This is, I mean, relax. You don't need the gimbal right now. Okay. So we'll do the gimbal later. Let me plug in the gimbal and allow it to charge. Instead, we will just use the normal lens. Or no, we'll use the macro lens. And we'll take some test footage. as we did before. Wow, this thing's heavy with this fucking thing on here, huh? Shit. We're out of battery. That's right. getting there. Well,
Yeah, this is unusable. The, it, with this fixed length. I can't. I need to be able to zoom out. I don't have a way to zoom out. We gotta return this. All right. Why didn't go over the head? Yep. Mm -hmm. Why didn't go up there? Okay. We've learned about all I needed to learn on this stream. We're gonna go ahead and return this thousand dollar lens and get the six hundred and fifty dollar one which has a zoom and allows me to take different shots. I think the Ronin might actually be helpful. Did I have any camera guys left in chat? It's the fixed focal length, right? It's fucked it all up. Hopefully I could still return this. Now, if I was a photographer, I would definitely want this because this, wow, it is just insane. Like, if you're a miniature painter, this would be the camera lens that you'd buy for your stream. Uh, because, I was, as I was showing you over here, when we were painting miniatures, this is the way to go. You just can't get any closer than this. All right. <clears throat> so, this is still useful. I do not have to return this. We just need to get the different lens for it. And what will happen is when I'm recording, I'll use the Ronin, and we will have to have a cameraman. So we'll, we have a two cam system. Okay. So, I think what we've determined is basically table time is for board games and things that are really self-contained and warhammer battle reports are 
base are, are gonna have to be edited. Now I can create a Warhammer battle report that we live stream. We can we could try to do that, but it's gonna be something different and something extra. Something different and something extra. For sure. For sure. Okay. So. Uh, what time is it in the United Kingdom right now? Are any of you from the United Kingdom? Can any of you, if you're not, can you use Google? 8.30 in the morning. Okay, so many of those guys are probably still asleep. They're not in here. So if, if there was UK guys, then I would might be able to find people in this chat that could help me build my army because now I believe it's time to <laughs> build my army after we did all that. The army lists. Um. <sighs> we definitely need a nice long uh camera thing I need the camera uh, button presser right here so I need a USB extension cable hey one of my favorite songs from chaos gate that's so from a lady how'd you got this so from a lady from a lady how'd you get this soap from a lady <laughs> this is when you fight the chaos chaos blood for the blood god blood for the blood god Soap from a lady, oh, you got this soap from a lady, oh, you got this soap from a lady. So what ultimately did we get done today? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, we learned. We learned a little bit. All right, I'll tell you what. We're not done with the setup because this is unacceptable. I want to move these two cameras. I don't like this. I would like to know what it looks like on the other end. If I took this camera and I went over there. If I took this cam and I went over there. Wouldn't you like to know what that looks like and compare? Let's do it now, shall we? How'd you get this soap from a lady? Okay. I will need to unplug the camera. And we will have to plug it in on the opposite side. Hold on, my headphones.
Joe ended up buying the worst extension cables I've ever seen. But, you know, it's my fault. <laughs> All right, so here's how it looks on this side. Okay, um, question is, how much better do I like it over here? I guess there's not a ton of difference. Now, we're going to do the same for this other thing, for this other camera. down. Camera two is down. in wireless sets. Can you have four HDMI wireless signals at 1080p a piece, approaching 4K a piece, streaming on the same Wi-Fi network as you stream? Mm -mm, no, there's no way to go Wi-Fi. No way to go wireless. If there is, it's gonna be more headache then it's worth four, four HDMI wireless signals to a PC. Mm -mm. Nah. Nah. I'll just have good cable management along the walls, along the, along, along the edge. There's a company out there, Dog Something, Surf Dog or Something Dog, that does wireless HDMI over your internet connection. But obviously, that's going to take bandwidth, and it's not something that that I would think I would need, I would want to use when I'm also going to be streaming 
I'm also, I need that times four, four HDMI signals. I'm, I could try it. Um. This technology is all not working for demo. I don't really have much of a cable mess here. Um. We will once we are plugged, if we, the, our audio are going to have cables going from there to there. But we've already determined that we don't, we don't want to deal with wireless uh, lapel mics. So, oh, I keep thinking over there, <laughs> what I'm doing here. So I'm setting this camera up to move. Oh, yeah, that's another one. This is Chaos Gate. It's like the XCOM for Warhammer. This you would fight. Blood for the blood god! Corn berserkers would show up. This would be. And this is actually when you're equipping your marines before battle. The song that plays. This is the menu. Menu then. I think Joe bought quite a terrible. Terrible extension cable here. So it does not even plug in. Well, so, so we shall see. What do you think of the cameras on this side of the room? If they were on this side of the room, I could maybe put the Angry Joe Show logo on the TV. That would look fucking sweet.
Well, anyway, you get the idea, right? <laughs> These two sides of the room. We could put a banner in front of the doors. All we need to do is pull out that banner. Nah, fuck you. Nah, fuck you. Reroll. Fuck you. Roll it. That was a cock dice. Your dice was cocked. You cock. Reroll your cock dice. Quit fucking cheating. He's fuck. Oh, he's fucking cheating. You saw him fucking cheat. Joe's fucking cheating. You fucking saw it, right? He's fucking cheating. He is. Nah, fuck you. Oh, shit. Look at that fucking roll. We need to get this shit. We need to get this over. Let's use an extension cable. This one's longer than this one, but it's fucking gray. Very fucking likes gray. Black. Go with fucking black. And it's USB 3.0 extension. That's better. <laughs> Not long enough. Black one sucks. Not long enough. Huh. 
I mean, it is, but not comfortably, it's just barely. So, uh, eh? What's up, man? Oh, what's up? This is my life to be in chat. <laughs> what are you doing up this late? Ah, uh, procrastinating. Yep. I'm talking to the voice in my head, chat. That's, that's it's it's good. good. Yep. It's, it's a good, good choice of uh, voice to choose for your head, head though. I will say. I How's the army thing coming along? Very poorly. Hmm. I can see that. I have set up this. <sighs> We've learned a lot. <clears throat> Scott Foot, guys. For example, uh, here's the four cam setup. Uh, I changed the cameras. I put them on the other side. I think. Ooh. I think the cameras on the other side look good. Chad, do you like the cameras on this side? Just, just for the Borky and stuff, stuff right? right? Well, that's the thing. Yes, it's for the board game stuff. There's actually two distinct entities emerging now. There's the board oh. games and there's the battle reports. Because in order to do Warhammer 40,000 battle reports correctly, I don't think it can use the exact same setup as we would use for streaming board games. It's just mm -hmm. not going to work. Uh, in that way, I don't think. Interesting. Have, Have you come, come across, across anything else you need to acquire? Yeah, let me see. So, well, we just need, yes. So, you know how, uh, you know how I have, well, you're watching, right? Yeah. Okay. So, we had this, right? This was the A6400. Uh, then we got that macro lens, which was amaze balls. Unfortunately, it's a fixed focal length lens, and there's just really no ghost trash. Oh, there's no way to see the ghost trash right now. Okay. Uh, there's the fixed focal length. You know, I can't zoom in and zoom out. And I need to be able to zoom in and zoom out if it were to be the close-up action cam, this action cam. You see how easy it is now for me to just swing this bad boy around, come around here, zoom in, 
get a little bit of that up close and personal action when a unit gets in close combat all right and then they're okay so let's see how they do that's four guys uh so we get uh, four dice mm -hmm. look at that four that hits on good. fours and so the and now uh, wounds on four, so two hits. Two Space Marines are hit. All right, Space Marines, we're gonna save on, let's say three plus. Ah, oh, one guy saves and one guy dies. Hmm. Pretty cool. That's, that's, that's great. great. The, the way, way it zooms in and pans like that, that's pretty good. good. Yeah. Smooth too. The problem- Now with a lens, now the problem is- that camera fix it? it? Yeah, no, no, this is fixed because we can easily do this. This is a camcorder. Camcorders, you can zoom in and out easily, and you can maintain the focus. Uh, the DSLRs, that, that huge $1,000 lens, this bad boy right here, um, this is just 90 millimeters and 90 millimeters only, meaning it's way too close. And so you can't, it's like nearly unusable. It would be good if I was a painter, and I was like up close like this and painting, but even look at this, this looks bad. I mean, <laughs> it works, yeah. it works just, oh, that is a problem. That's a problem. This unsupported signal bullshit, which I don't know how, why it's happening or how to remedy it. Why it's randomly occurring too, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was fine before, now it's, now it's getting it. Yeah, exactly. So what I was thinking initially was that the cable in this arm for whatever reason, this HDMI cable was an older HDMI, and this adapter that I'm using to go from HDMI to HDMI mini is causing problems. But that doesn't seem to be the case because we we tested an HDMI to HDMI mini cable, uh, mm -hmm. which are running to these two cameras here, uh, either one of the point of view cameras, and, and it does the same thing. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We didn't test that. We tested it with faulty cables. And I need I, I would just need to test it with one of these cables on one of these point of view lenses just to see if it improves it. But I just think the HDMI cable that's stuck and embedded within this, you know, uh, what do you call it, camera arm is older. You know, maybe for hospitals, maybe for mm -hmm. dentists. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Uh, but so I these, guess you want to run a new one then? Yeah. So here, no, no. Yeah, exactly. I would, uh, I would probably unbolt all these bolts and then like try to run a, a brand new HDMI cable through it. Okay. So the camera that you, uh, you know, you helped me buy and I bought with you is that you got the deal on uh, is gonna go here because this is the Angry Joe camera, right? In, in the place of the one that you're fondling. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Open can. <laughs> so, yeah. this is the, the the ghost trash. Spooky Halloween creepy. All right, but so, so that one, the $600 one going here because this is the angry reviews. That's got to go back downstairs. Now, the other one that I needed, because if I do not use a DSLR, then I'm going to need one for this one. But I think this one will do. Or, you know what? It will not do because it has no ability to put lenses on it. And the one up here is going to need the wide angle lens more than any other camera. So um, yeah, I, lens, a I, have a I have a problem. I can either put this one here, but then I would have no actual action cam on a gimbal. Uh, so it looks like I'm going to need to buy one more camera. I may have to pay you another $600 to get two of the camera that you're currently uh, that you're currently shipping. But the big question is, I don't think the camera that you're shipping can use a wide angle lens. Are you able to look that up? I have the box right in front of me. Um, okay, hang on one second. Let me put, hold on. Okay. Because I, I have the camera too. 
Uh, did or did we buy a different model or did we buy the same model? You we, remember? Uh, I got the Vixia HFG50. Okay, so you got the new one. This is the one that What's I was using G10? was the was the G10. Okay. Okay, so we upgraded. Uh, but the question is, can it use a wide-angle lens? And I think the answer is no or or yes because look these are this is threaded right no that has a threaded yeah that one does i could open this up and see if this one's threaded too if realistically it, it should be they wouldn't remove a feature like that from the same you know model of camera yeah if this one's thread but see this isn't a wide angle lens this is just a hood uh, oh yeah that's true i i don't right. know if Will it those actually threads work for one? i don't know i've never try but if it does i would need it um and that that camera chat if you're wondering why do we know, won't just use that one is because i shorted it out uh through my own stupidity i destroyed a thousand dollar lens I do hate all right a thousand dollar camera because i plugged in a 24 volt ac adapter when that thing can only handle 8.4 volts these things happen. I think this can handle a wide-angle lens. I'm fairly certain. But uh, I don't know. <clears throat> let me let me. It does look a little bit different. Because if it doesn't, then that's fine. We'll put the one that you sent me where the angry reviews camera is right now, and we'll find a camera that can do the wide-angle lens. Say, for example, a DSLR as the camera that's at the top. So, Vixia. H or HFG50 wide angle lens. Um, yes, it's there's a little cheapy. There's a little cheapy one. There's one from Can Canon themselves for five hundred dollars, and there's the cheapy one for like fifteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I don't know. That is a disparity. Uh, here's another one. Why don't we lens for select E-mount cameras? No, this, this will do it. Yeah, I'm looking at the camera right now. It'll, I think it'll fit any standard sizes. 58mm uh, lens. So I would need to look to see if this is 58 millimeter. Yeah. I don't know what this is. This doesn't make sense to me. Uh, camera model family, Sony A 6400. It'll fit the 6400, the DSLR. Th this one that I'm looking for is the DSLR. It's for the E-mount. The E-mount is a DSLR mount, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a picture of that because I know that that one I could get if the camera you're sending can't. But you're saying the camera you're sending can? Yeah, it's looking like it. Well, Unless I'm mistaken. Well, let's actually it, find it on Amazon it, now. I just search up uh, Vixia G50 wide angle lens. This has 20 times optical zoom, though. No wide angle pre built, unfortunately. It might actually already come with the lens. I'll keep looking at the rest of the box. It, it might already be the wide angle. I don't no, think it, it can do. That's what? just a guard. That's not it. Does the Canon Vixia G50 have a wide-angle lens? According to Amazon.com, Amazon.com, Canon Vixia HF G50 HD Ultra Wide-Angle Conversion Lens, Camera and Photo. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I found it. It's 200. There it is. Canon Vixia. So confirmed. 
GF, G50, high grade, wide angle, conversion lens, low profile. But, you know, it might be from like the cheap brand thing. It's, you know, it's like a lens on top of a lens, which is never ideal. But, hey, it's not a DSLR. If you want to go right. top of the line where it's one lens and it was just built in, then you get a DSLR lens, which I still can't. I can make this. D I can get this one and put that one because the one that is replacing the angry reviews i don't need a wide angle and i don't want a wide angle so the one that you're sending that will get here what monday yeah yeah so that monday camera will replace this one and then based upon the quality of that camera once i can take a look at it i can either buy the wide angle for it and put it up top here or i can buy another dslr because I think the DSLR, this A6400, is about $600 too. All right. Well, this does really look like it, it does. It can support a wide angle lens. Mm -hmm. So that's promising. But I guess if it doesn't, you're right. What you were saying, whoa, whoa. you could do instead would be. Oh, let's angling. see. This one is uh, an A6400 is $900. I need to know potentially if you can get a deal on that one because uh, there was on the what on the a sony a6400 through your contacts and your channels um, I'll check. otherwise I, I do know i'm going to end up needing one more camera to buy because i've got to replace the overhead cam with something two cameras in this room are being replaced Angry reviews with the one that comes on Monday, and then we will decide on the overhead camera whether it's a DSLR or whether it's a camcorder. I think a camcorder would probably be best, maybe, because it's maybe less prone to overheating. <sighs> but are they, though? I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Camcorders maybe overheat less. Camcorders you want to go if you're doing a lot of zooming and you need optical this, optical that. But an overhead cam, it's just pretty much just going to stay in the same wide angle, just the table. Um, and we worked out a deal with Wrath Scalers tables to, to get a badass table. And... Uh, so we would just be showing the overhead of that the whole time. So, yeah. Interesting. Here's... So well, one, one more camera purchase upcoming for me. It's either the DSLR or uh, a second camera that you... Uh, a copy of the camera you just sent. Okay. If it were to be that Sony A6400, I can get that for 550 Woo-hoo! Yeah. Let like three hundred dollar off. Mm, yep. Yeah, I really like these. I I think <laughs> I, uh, the benefits of doing that. I think I might do that because there's also the console cam. When we get our PS5 and we get our Xbox, uh, was hello, Jack. Are you seeing that? Did you see the lights change color? The scary boy in the room. That, that, that light is going down. What percentage is it at? It's at 24%. Now it's at 100. What was...
professorphobia, but in real life. <laughs> These lights are on remote control, Chad, and I thought I heard something, but... It, are these lights on voice control? Lights down, off. I, I've seen it go up. It's Now it's at 26, now it's at 25. What is turning this? Let's go to 60%. You there, Gopher? Yeah, what's up? Huh. Maybe it, I'm just. Maybe my house is having pro. No, it's, it's going. It just went 61, 60. What are you doing? What what button is this? Does this lock it? No, that doesn't lock it. Do you think it adjusts according to light, like from the from the room? Y yeah, if that's the case, I don't want it to do that. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's a problem. I just want it to stay at 60. Um. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Anyways. So what are you doing? Did you go to bed? Me? Yeah. No. What time is it over there? It is 2.23 in the morning. Uh, 3.23 over here. Yeah, that's... Uh... I guess you're doing those late night streams now. Yeah. Nice. Uh, you know, we just sent our faces over to Den of Imagination. Uh, I'm, which, by the way, I'm gonna need you to take a picture of your face and the front and the sides, uh, if you want to actually have your face on the model. Um, you know, because we were thinking about making you a one of the chaplains or or an apothecary. It really depends on what Joe wants, because I have to give. Joe precedence obviously because and then you can be in some of the ones that Joe is not in because I looked it up and we're, we I was supposed to army build tonight build the angry army list or rage marines or whatever our custom chapter is going to be called and normally space marines are going to be fielding between two and three characters unless we're playing like a large game and we will eventually get to the large game. And so it's like, well, if I'm going to be playing with three characters, I want to do me, other, uh, other Joe, and Alex. And But I did find other characters. For example, uh, if you get a veteran Space Marine squad, you can bring apothecaries and, and lower level chaplains and things like that in that squad. And that way I can still include people from our Patreon, people from, you know, our streams and chat and Twitch and things like that. So I think that's how I'm going to be able to still do that. Um, yeah, but I will need you to send me your face in pictures when you have some free time. And, uh, yeah. Speaking of that, do you... I was going to ask you earlier, too. Do you want any more of that art done for you or not? I have all the art. Uh, I have one of you, one of Dell, one of Alex, one of me, one of Joe. Uh, what I need to do, actually, is get some of these posters made because I haven't yet been able to, to you know, manufacture. I need to talk to Displate. Um, so, no, not right now. Um, so, going back to what I need for this room. Uh, so, yeah, we, one camera. Uh, the, the electrician shows up on Monday, so that's perfect because your camera shows up on Monday. And then, and so then we'll just wire that camera. We'll have that camera by Monday, hopefully. Um, no. Do you want me to just hold off on the A6400 and basically yes. just send you this camera for now, see what needs to be done, and then... Yes, because I don't know. Going. I don't know whether I want the DSLR as the overhead cam or another one of the camera that you're sending. Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Shit. Oh, fuck. I 
just... <laughs> I was trying to find it. Okay, uh, so next is... You see how there's only one shelf. Number one, I need to get multiple shelves. So this one shelf at Ikea, they are completely out of these shelves. They just have zero. They said on Thursday they're getting more, but who knows? Uh, so I guess that's today. It's 3.30, so I guess t today technically they're getting some. But I got to go to my grandma's for her birthday. But I'll pick up the oh, shelves. Sure. Yeah. And I have two more shelves. So I'll build two more shelves, chat. But if you look at these, there's a lot of space in between this. So I might actually, you know... This could probably fit one more shelf and still look good. What do you think, chat? You do have plenty of space now. Yeah. yeah. So if you, like, bring that one up here. Damage. And you can get one more out of it. You think? If you want to keep them evenly spaced. Yeah. Maybe. Hold on, let me see. It, I, I agree clutter is bad and it looks bad, but this, there's so much space that I think we can get away. Okay, so give it's me... It's not really clutter if it's localized. Yeah, give me, chat, do 75 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4. So 75 divided by 4, you're looking at like 18, 18.5. That's what it is now. 75. Now do 75 divided by 5. That's 15. 15. Do math correctly? So then you're looking at right here. That's not too bad. Yeah, I think I could fit one more shelf. I'll try it. You don't want to do more than one shelf because then clutter would look bad if, there, if you tried to stick one shelf in between all the shelves. No, I'm not looking to do that. I'm just looking to add one and then shift everything up. That should be all right, right, chat? It'll look more even. Yeah. Because right now it almost looks like it's com it's unfinished <laughs> or something. Yeah. I don't know. It really... And plus, we, we have some more armies uh, incoming, and so we need more room. Uh, a lot of the terrain needs a place to be put, uh, so the terrain will go in some of the shelves. Um, I can't wait. I'm so excited for this. I just, for my, my own board game, Street Fighter versus, uh, Street Fighter, and then the Mortal Kombat, and they do Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it'd be pretty sick. The studio is going to be great for showing off board games. It's going to be great for battle reports. It's just, you know... And honestly, all this, this is not a way to make money because uh, board game videos and board game reviews do not do well on YouTube. In fact, we might have the biggest ones on YouTube just because we have you guys, uh, our built-in audience of 3 million. Usually, those videos don't do good views. But I look at it as a way to relax, you know, a little change of pace from time to time, something to relax with the boys, Joe. Alex, you know, more table talk. Chill streams, yeah. And and guess what? A board game or Warhammer will never crash. And so I, I never have to be like, fuck! And then yeah. replay the whole thing. <laughs> you can't delete your save. You can't delete your... my save. It can't you fucking can crash. crash. You fuck up your audio. And fuck up my audio. <laughs> Now there's Some still a bunch of cables. Tree. I don't know. I can't really do much about the cables. <laughs> That's fair, but you know. Yeah. Less things to worry about. That's true. All right. Um, but okay. So chat. I I gotta get serious about this. What, when are you going to bed? Are you going to bed here soon? No. Okay. 
Well, then I am going to go get my Space Marine Codex because it, it, we need to figure out what our army is going to look like because they're like, Joe, you need to tell us now because people are going to start buying all these armies. In fact, some shit may already be sold out, so we need to figure this out. I'll be right back, chat, and we'll go get the book. Hello there, chat. How you guys doing? Just over here drinking some aloe vera drink. It's pretty good. Good for the stomach. Good for that indigestion. I'm doing good, thanks. It's currently 2.30 in the morning. Yes, I'm now in your head, so hmm. do hate to see that. Well, for some reason, I think AJ is using Alice's account. Which is why I was like bamboozled coming in here, expecting Alice's voice. Nothing much. Yep. I made sure DBZ game pretty sick, actually. Now that I think about it. Prison Architect is really good. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the whole young sounding vibe. Appreciate that. Uh, I'm mean, one of the executive producers for the show. I just help out Joe and things. The, uh, I don't know, equipment, money, advice, I don't know, other stuff. Yes, indeed. We fall. Oh, we fall. <laughs> okay. All right, we fall down. That's ah, yes. No. Nope. A bit too many abbreviations, but I got it. Yep. Mm-hmm. You guys are also a pretty late chat. What's going on? Sleepless night. Yeah, I'm more chill because I don't have a game to yell at. No, my good sir, EC, I'm not. Are you watching? Ah, yep. Yep, yep. Lots of time, mm-hmm. Yeah, Bass usually streams at this time. Okay. Hello. Hey, how do I untangle this damn cord? This thing is pissing me off. Joe knows how to do it. Let's, I'll wait. I'll do this another time. Okay. <clears throat> So, got a lot of books. Basically, I think I can completely ignore my Blood Angels army, right? Blood Angels would just be another army that I play. The toughest decision and the decision that's the biggest bottleneck is what Space Marine chapter will we be modeling our Space Marines after. That. What's that? No, I was just saying, I was just talking about chat while you were gone, saying oh. hello. Oh, I thought you meant there's a chapter with his name Stacy. We're gonna. Oh. We're gonna name her after Jess Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> just saying thanks, AC. All right, so chat, let me share, let me tell you my ideas for how we're gonna do this. First, let me restart the stream. That way we can get a nice clean start. 